call me wool gathering. That's what my wife Mandy calls it. She's from Yorkshire. John, she says, snap out your wool gathering and get down to the job centre. She thinks if I make an effort, the jobs will magically appear. Eh, yeah, right. You've got to move on, John, she says. Collar is gone, make a fresh start. You've plenty of skills and experience of working down the pit. Yeah, I have. Of working down the pit. I've done now else since I left school. And I have plenty of skills and experience there and all. But I don't think drawing Roman farts or playing footy is going to get me many interviews. <laughs> I am trying. Very, Mandy says, but she, she's no idea. No, she's a secretary, good at shorthand typing, even on computers, and she can pick and choose where she works, doesn't really care so long as she earns a wage and gets her holidays. Me? I'm lost. We out pit. It's been my life. Mandy made me go to night school. Said it was to give me an interest, take my mind off things, but really she just wanted to watch men behaving badly in peace. Anyway, I did a course about researching your family tree. Traced my lot back to 1620 and I thought, maybe I'll be descended from noblemen and soldiers. Well, guess what? Coal miners, every flaming one of them. You know, my dad used to say, no lad of mine is going down pit. And when I told him I was, the roof came off the house. You flaming idiot. You'll not last five minutes, and I'll be honest. When I first started, I could have quit a million times, but I could hear his voice niggling it back in my head. You'll not last five minutes. And I ended up doing nearly 20 years. Now, this is going to sound really bad and I don't want to get him back to Mandy, all right? Do you know what? Oh, good. The truth is, I don't know which I love the most. The pit or my family. And I know that sounds awful, but there's a word for people like me. And what they call a pit brunt. It means pit's got you. It's like a disease. I tried explaining this to Mandy, but when I say I miss my job, she says, you miss toothache once it's gone because she only thinks about the dirt and the danger. She doesn't know about other stuff because she wasn't there. The kids have asked, you know, what's it like, Dad, going underground? And I say, well, when you're in that cage falling 45 feet a second, you're in for a ride of your life. Better than any fun fair, I'm a very, very lucky man because I got to see a world that very few have seen. Whenever I used to pick up a piece of coal, I'd say to myself, wow, I'm the first guy ever to touch this. I didn't really, I picked up a lot of coal, but they always loved that bit. You know, the truth is, I don't know if it was the comradeship or the excitement of living off your wits, but I found it fascinating. I mean, there was nothing glamorous about it. Conditions could be treacherous because we were at war every day because we were fighting nature. But because your color, it was, it was as hot as hell, but it was the best pit I ever worked at. We used to have soul drinks every morning to replace what we'd lose through sweat. We worked with no clothes on. Uh, lived like animals underground. There were no toilets, no canteens, thousands of mice crawling all over you and the noise. When that cutter came past, it used to make third pound 
you know, wah, 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 and it kicked up so much dust that you couldn't see who was working next to. I mean, they could all swap places and you wouldn't even know. But I loved every minute of it. I'll go back tomorrow. I would. No chance of that though. You know, when I first started, there were nearly 700 calories in this country. Now there's less than 50. We had a funeral march when Bickershire Colliery closed earlier this year. 500 miners walking from Bickershire Colliery to Lee Miners Welfare for a farewell wake. And it felt like a funeral. It really did. There were grown men in tears. You know, he had to be a, a special breed of man to do my job. And I can spot him a mile off. And it's not just the dodgy knees, cold dust tattoos, or wheezy chest. It's something in their eyes. And they all say the same thing. I'd go back tomorrow. In a heartbeat. You know, one day, they'll realise that the coal industry was the most important industry in this country. It made us the leaders of the Industrial Revolution. And it got us through two world wars. And I feel very proud to have been part of that. Very proud. You know, I always said, my lad will never go down the pit, just like my dad did. I just didn't realise he wouldn't have a choice. So, here I am, the last miner of my family, a witness of history. And one day people, people will want to talk to me. They'll want to know exactly what it was like to work underground and yeah, I'll, I'll be a very important person then. But in meantime, I better get off and get tea on. Oh, Mandy will have me guts for garters. I'll see you later.